Hello, my name is Sachin Khurpade, and I'm a principal architect for SAP on Azure. In today's episode, we are going to see how easily you can integrate Azure IoT with your SAP system. This episode is a part of a series wherein we are depicting four episodes. Each episode consists of specific topics like logic apps, power platform, data factory, data lake, power BI, and Internet of Things. Today's episode is focused on Internet of Things, IoT. If you want to perform the same demo in your subscription, you can find the sample code and files available at GitHub repository at saghorpa slash SAP Azure integration. Before we do the technical deep dive of these component and technologies, let's try to understand what kind of business problems you could solve with these technologies. Let's, let's take an example of Contoso. Contoso is a global beverage company which has over 100,000 self-dispenser units deployed globally. User can pay and get the beverages of their choice from these units. The beverage dispenser must maintain a temperature of 15 degrees Celsius or less. If the temperature goes beyond 15 degrees Celsius and stays there for one hour, the drinks inside that unit is not drinkable anymore. So company lost approximately $1 million in fiscal year 2019 because total of 10,000 units had temperature raised and they were not able to detect it on time. Now, company's objective is to detect the temperature in real time so that a work order can be created immediately to correct the problem. Now, how can we solve this problem with IoT technologies? So, in those individual uh, self-dispenser unit, you have an IoT device which is constantly checking the temperature of the beverage dispenser and sending the attributes like humidity, temperature, etc., to IoT Hub in Azure. Now, IoT Hub collects the event as a central place for IoT and then pass it to function apps. Now, we have to send this information to SAP system. The problem is that SAP system can understand a specific language uh, or a format, which is either an XML or an IDOC format. So we need to transform the input that we uh, we need to transform the output that we got from this IoT units to the IDOC format. And that's exactly function app does. It takes the output from the IoT hub and, and convert it to the IDOC format. Well, it does not really uh, convert all the outputs to IDOC format. It only takes, it also put a function and check to ensure that the where the temperature was beyond 50 de 15 degree, it converts the information for that record only, right? Because that is the only record that we care about from the work order perspective. So once the function app converts the information to IDOC slash XML format, it stay, saves that information to Azure Data Lake inside the container. And from there, we have an logic app which picks up this IDOC and send it to SAP system for the work order creation. Simple. Now let's take this whole process into action. Again, you have the repository available, GitHub repository available at Saghurpa SAP Azure integration inside the IoT, which you can follow to perform your own demo. We are, use, we are using a IoT device, a sample IoT device, which you can find that inside the Microsoft GitHub.io location. You can purchase this unit in approximately $37, if you, $39 if you want to really do the end-to-end -end, uh, IoT integration demo. So what we have done is we, we have taken the output from the IoT device, and then I'm going to show you that how, and we have we are going to provide that input to the function. So in this case, IoT Hub Event Hub function is going to take the input uh, as 
the uh, IoT output and then convert using the function into an IDOC format. So in this case, if you could see, I'm going to pass three information, message ID, temperature, and humidity. Let me change the temperature to 30 degree here, 30.7. It's going to round off it to 31 in the actual format. So I'm just going to run this uh, function. As you could see, the function is now getting executed and it says the function is succeeded. Once the function is succeeded, it is essentially going to drop an IDOC file into Azure Data Storage location. So this is my Azure Data uh, Storage location. I'm going to go to the container and inside the IoT container, this is the place where I wanted a uh, function to drop my IDOC information. Let's see. So it has just dropped at 4.55, which is the current time. It has just dropped the uh, IDOC information into my container. Now let's go to Logic App. Now I could have defined the Logic App to pick it up, uh, pick up the information into every second's interval and send the information back to SAP. But since I wanted to show this demo to you, I changed the interval to months. But again, you can always change it to months to uh, define your automatic workflow, which constantly check the uh, container and set it. So in this case, I'm just going to run it manually. So this is my logic app. It is going to pick up the information from ADLS uh, container and then send this information to SAP system using the IDOC type sales order create from that. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. So once we run this information, it is just going to pick up the file and within a few seconds, it should be able to transfer that IDOC into SAP system. It's just performing that activity and any moment it should be done. So as you could see within a few seconds, it is able to send that information back to SAP system. Now, now let's go back to SAP system. This is our SAP system. Let me just go ahead and refresh the or maybe let's run WEO2 transaction so that I can see the IDOC information here. So this is the latest IDOC that was posted. Let me just double click. Once I click the, the IDOC and try to see the data record of this IDOC, I could see the temperature 31. This is exactly the information that we had posted in our function to transfer it to SAP. So that's it. It is super simple that within few minutes you can define this automatic workflow so that you can solve the complex business problem like Contoso. Thank you so much for watching.